for stopping back by Wild Bird Creative. I have my composition notebook journal here, and I'm just going to start a page doing some mark making. Now, because this is just notebook paper, and this is a dollar store composition book, so the paper is very thin, I'm just going to add some gesso to the page first, because I'm going to be using wet media on it. And I just want to have a good surface. Now there's no fancy way to do this. It's nothing, nothing exciting at all. I'm just spreading it with the broad side of a palette knife. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth until I have the whole thing well coated. And then I will let it dry and it will be the perfect surface for me just to experiment a little bit with some different techniques and tools. So this is all there is to prepping the page. The slowest part is going to be letting it dry. As you can see, it's rippling up, but I really don't care. This is just for experimenting on. So there it is. We'll let it dry and I'll come back and we'll try a variety of things on here and just have some fun. My page is all nice and dry. I have some black acrylic paint here on my gel plate and just a collection of old brushes that are pretty, pretty stiff. And this one especially. It's just about met the end of its life but they can be great for mark making. So I'm just going to start it just makes a nice little pattern and you can trim these up as you want to get different effects. Now this brush is very very soft but it gives almost a fur-like look. Or trees. I mean, these can be very tree-like. Doesn't have to be a dried up old brush. I've got a filbert here. This will give me a very tiny mark. Which works out well. Keep going here. I've got another small one. It just, it's just fun. I'll have a whole page here of different mark making. This one, this brush may be beat. I'm not getting much. It's pretty dried up, but I can use it on the side and make little hash marks. It's just not going to work so well. I don't even think if I load it up it's going to give me much. No. Nope. It's okay. And if I really, really press, I can get some marks. But that brush may have met its end. This one. Again, it's just all fun mark making. This is a kind of a stippling brush. Now a toothbrush is a little different to use because you have to make sure that you can get to the paper easily but it does allow you to reach way in and get to the center and you can do some great lines. Last one here is just a, again, I mean, look at how beat up this brush is. There's almost Nothing left to it but a few dried up bristles. I'm 
not doing anything fancy. I'm just making marks. Let me just set this aside and bring in a little tiny piece of paper and just quickly do a piece with some of the different brushes. Bob Ross trees over here. It's really more just the suggestion of trees, but part of the fun in doing this is just seeing what you can create. Not everything has to be an exact replica. And I'm using the same brush a couple different ways. Let's see if I can make some clouds. I don't have great faith in my cloud making with this, but We'll give it a try. You know what? I'm going to turn it upside down. Maybe that, because of the shape of the filbert brush, will be a little more cloud-like. I mean, this is all just done with old brushes. Is it a beautiful piece of art? No. Is it a nice way to practice and work on your mark-making skills? Absolutely. The best thing about being creative is just trying stuff. Just seeing what works and what doesn't and learning. I mean, here I've got just a handful of beat up old brushes, a gessoed page in my composition book to practice on, and then just a little piece of copy paper, and I've made some art. I hope that you'll give this a try. Don't get rid of your old brushes until you see what other things you can do with them. You also have the other ends you can use. And I can make little tiny things that suggest maybe birds in the sky or snow. You've got two ends of a brush to use. I encourage you to grab your stuff and get creative. Thanks for stopping by Wild Bird Creative.